Hello friends, welcome to Laptex. My name is Nasser and uh, along with me Dildar sir is here. Now we have a case study of uh, Lenovo. Uh, this is the Lenovo model G50-70 and uh, let us see what is the problem in it. So uh, this is the part number NM-8272 and uh, as it is written here no power on. So it looks like very clean motherboard nobody has worked on this and uh, it is quite fresh motherboard I have received from cu my customer. Now let me inject DC jack into the motherboard and now you see the consumption of ampere. So it, it seems that uh, laptop is on however there is a no indication if it is on you uh, you will get a, a white a light on this point that is the indicator of uh, turning on the laptop but uh, this ampere is uh, telling us the different thing that it is telling us that voltage is available standby voltage is ready. Now uh, the scenario is in these types of motherboard uh, we do not get the always voltage okay. So after turning on then we get the 3.3 and 5 volt on this motherboard. First of all, if you receive any Hashwell and Broadwell motherboard, you must follow these path. One is the your PCH 1.05. The value should not goes down to the 100 ohms. That is the very healthy value of the that particular area. If uh, you find like 50 ohm and 40 ohm, you can say that the PCH is short most probably. However, there could be uh, uh, different chances like uh, your regulator is bad or it is faulty. But in most of the cases uh, we have seen that uh, the PCH area is short due to the less value on this coil. Now uh, we are checking the core value, the core uh, coil impedance. Now it is giving us 90. So it is also healthy. One is RAM because uh, these three area is uh, responsible if you have less value the root cause goes to the CPU area. So that is why we should uh, make it sure that we have the healthy value on these uh, given coils. So here we have 147 that is also good. Now uh, 3.3 and 5 volt uh, is uh, over limit that is indicating us that is the good healthy healthy enough value we are getting on this point. Now let me inject DC jack and uh, let us check the voltage. So here we are getting 5 volt on this coil and uh, on this coil we should have 3.3 volt. Now you can see 3.3 volt is also available oh, and uh, what do we understand to see this uh, voltage on, on this given coil if we have 3.3 and 5 volt. We can say that our motherboard is on, it is turned on and uh, let me do one thing since it is not turning on by itself, maybe CMOS battery is here. So do one thing, you try like this. So we are going to turn on from here. So we are going to touch the uh, second pin from the right hand side and uh, we will see that it is turning on or not. So it is not turning on. So if uh, you feel this types of case and if you find this types of case, I would recommend you first of all remove CMOS cell. So what does happen? The most of the time I have seen that the laptop will turn on because this is called the, the uh, reset process. So you just remove this CMOS cell from the motherboard and uh, the value might be okay. But I have seen that this type of case that is why I thought to share with you. Now I, I have injected the power and now you can see it is turned on. However, it was not turning on with the multimeter when I was trying to turn it on. Now I will show you the same process. Let me turn off. Now it is turned off. And uh, you should avoid to turn on the laptop uh, if you like here I have a motherboard might be a mini motherboard I have see this one. So I have received this 
motherboard this uh, is the asus motherboard and uh, what is the difficult here that uh, you have dc jack on this point and uh, on off will be on this area on this uh, uh, there would be a daughter motherboard where the on off switch is located so here how will you turn on this motherboard if you want to turn on with the help of tweezer so in order to turn on you should avoid to use this types of tweezer better you turn on like this way uh, you hold the right or the right probe on the ground and you just keep on like this way okay so that is a good thing to check whether it is turning on or not the same process i am doing here i will touch now you see it is turned on the same process you can do to turn off the same keep on touching it now it you, you can see that it is off now so let's check do we get uh, the display on the dso so look sometimes these tricks will help you to get rid of the problem where you will be stacking up now it is now you can see successfully connected to your computer however i have received no power on so it was not turning on and what i have done you have seen the video so as you have seen the a very silly thing could cause to uh, you know uh, create a big problem so uh, whenever this is my recommendation to all of you those who is working uh, in this same field if you are starting to repair a motherboard you just take out the coin cell and uh, especially you have to use it uh, while you are going to check the rtc section so that is very important thing these are the very important step which you always have to remember i hope that uh, this uh, video would be very much beneficial to you if you want to know all uh, about the motherboard training process you can contact on the given number and you can avail the video from us like uh, dso video charging ic video and uh, 3.3 and 5 section video communication video and the latest uh, board view software how you have to run it how you have to uh, uh, how you have to tackle that software csme region how you have to clean uh, uh, and edit the csme region these types of things you will come to know in our course module video so if you are interested you can contact us on the given number so i hope that you have liked this video hit the uh, like button also share it in your groups and uh, if you haven't subscribed our channel as of now please subscribe it and uh, also press the bell icon button so that you will get notification from our channels so guys please keep keep on watching keep on loving thank you for watching this video